Hey guys, what is going on? Senior News here today. Now, I promised to do an unboxing slash giveaway for you guys, so that is what I am doing. And I have 10 Pyro Lamb cases and 10 Mayflower cases. So let's just jump right into this because we have quite a bit to cover. So we're going to start with the Pyro Land. And let's see what we get first. Alright, starting off good with a brain candy pistol. Already worth the $80 to spend. This is going to be great. I love it. Oh, look at that. Got a minigun to match the pistol. I'm liking it. We'll go with some of these Mayflowers now. Alright, a sniper cape. That's not too bad. That is not too bad at all. I do like that cape a little bit, although it does look quite similar to just a towel. Oh, it's strange. Alright, so we got a strange shoulder pads for the scout there. That's not too bad. Maybe I can get the whole set of that. Ooh, a stab to hell knife. I used to have a factory new one of these. This thing looks like crap. Alright. This so far isn't... It's, it is pretty bad, but it's not too bad. Um, they, they got a cape for the demo, man. Pretty sure I'm not going to use that. Alright, alright, we got a crash helmet for the scout. Pretty sure I won't use that either. Ooh, a flower power metagun. Well, it, it does look suspiciously factory new. So it might not be too bad. What I'm really hoping for though is one of those grenade launchers. Oh, here we go, a brain candy knife. We're getting the whole brain candy collection over here. I like it, I like it. Making it worth the $80 it's spent. Okay, so we're getting our first purple, I believe. Is that our first purple? Ah, oh, that's our first purple. Here we go. Look at that. So we've only got five cases left, and we've only gotten one purple. Well, five of each left, and I've only gotten a single purple, and that's a cosmetic. Oh, now we got another flower power medigun, which is in a crappier condition, I might add. That is absolutely amazing. All right, look at that, surgeon survivalist. Oh man, we are having the absolute best RNG from these cases today. I have to say, another stab to hell knife. No, I don't want. No, I don't want another key. All right, Mayflower, give me something good. Oh, there we go. We got, we got another purple. It's the Night Helm for Scout to match uh, his shoulder pads. I got another stab to hell knife. All right, that makes three of them, all in the same crappy condition. I might add. All right. Oh, this one's strange. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right, we've only got four cases left, and so far we've only gotten two purples and three stab the hell knives and another brain candy pistol. Man, this is making it worth the eighty dollars I spent for this. Oh, we got the boots. We got the scout boots. I think we have the full set of night scout gear. All right, so now we have the, the last two crates. And I'm not I'm not gonna lie. This this here. And okay, yeah, that one's strange. Oh I didn't know that one was strange. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Look at that. So we've only gotten strange cosmetics. We have not gotten any strange weapons. We have one battle scarred stabbed hell knife. A well worn stabbed hell knife. And a field dusted stabbed at they all look the exact same. They all look the exact same. Although the one thing I can be happy about is I did not get an SMG as of now. But I also did not get any of the cool stuff at the top yet. Let's see. If we're lucky enough, maybe we'll get a red. 
or a strange blue. I'll I'll take a strange blue at this point because so far this is this is not fun. This has not been worth. Let's see. Now that's what I'm talking about. A flower pipe. No. I don't like that. I mean, the, the blood on it's kind of cool. It's it's all right, but I think it's it's definitely not factory new. It's just field tested. All right, so I'm calling calling a bit of bullcrap there. How uh, that's scraped up and destroyed, and that's field tested. And then this revolver here is. It looks it looks pretty clean with a little bit of blood on it. That's field tested as well, apparently. All right. Well, last one we got is the Mayflower. Let's see what we're getting. Give us some luck here. Oh boy, another air dog. Well, I think it's safe to say that this was definitely worth about the eighty dollars I spent. Hundred and ten percent. I cannot in the slightest complain. I don't know why I have that. I can't complain at all. This is definitely worth the eighty dollars. Hundred and ten percent. Alright, and here is our total loot right there. I'm going to say that is a solid $10 worth of cosmetics. But wait, there is more to unbox. Oh, I actually do have two more Mayflower cosmetics. Alright. I don't know where I put these. They are somewhere. Ah, here we go. The Manco store packages. The best of the best for the ending of the unboxing. Alright, see, now this makes it worth it. We got absolute nothing from those other crates, and screw those other crates, might as well just go discard all those items. Screw that, we got the flying guillotine for Scout. Look at that, that's beautiful. Now what else do we get here? See, these are the ones I'm always really excited about. The Vaccinator, holy crap. That's one of the best ones to get. I'm just going to go equip that right now. Here we go. There it is right there. Wait, no, there it is right there. The Untradeable Vaccinator. The best item in the game. Now we're working with magic. Alright, so let's go see what these cosmetics look like. So I believe we got the full night set, which is kind of cool. So we'll, uh... We'll put on the boots first. Alright, alright. It's not too bad. We got the, uh. Got that stuff going on there. And we got. Whoop. Oh, okay, alright. Here we go. We got, our ver we got our full Herald set for Scout. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't look too bad if it wasn't zipping around as fast as it could be when I'm just trying to move it around. But that's not too bad. That's, it's not too bad of an item. I will not lie. And I believe I got a sniper cape as well. And we'll put it on with this here. We go. This super sniper. That's not too bad. I mean, I do like my snow scoper a bit more. Can I put on both? Oh, I can. Eh, that does not work. So it's not bad. That is not bad. Although, to be honest, I was really hoping for that that spy hat, where it's just a, it kind of looks like a skull. That one, that one's really cool. That's the one I was really looking forward to. That's the red one, but I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Alright, what else did we get? Oh, yes, we got two. Two of the demos dust catchers. Put on the strange one. Now, holy crap. I take back everything I said. This was 
That is one of the coolest things I've ever, I've ever seen. Wow. Look look at that. He's got a scarf on. He's got, he's got a scarf and a belt now? Wow. Oh, hold on. Didn't he already have that? That belt there? Oh, yeah, he did. Get those black. Holy crap. It makes the belt brown. All right. This is the first place prize right here. 100% first place. That's, that's the best item we ever unboxed it. I'm just kidding, obviously. Uh, that's a somewhere, though. All right, did we get anything cool for Soldier? I don't think so. No, we did not. What about for Pyro? I think I'd remember unboxing a Pyro item. No, we didn't get Pyro. All right, what about Heavy? No? Did we not... Do we, do we really, like, just get duplicates? And that... Scout set? Oh, wait, no. We did get Medic Gear. We got... This? Holy crap, that looks terrifying. With my... With my, uh, beard on. Holy crap. That looks... Alrighty. Alrighty, as I drop down to 9 frames for some reason. Alright, I love it. I love it. And we also got these things here. Alright. Uh, see, that's actually not too bad. That headgear is pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. That is something I could take a nice unusual effect on. You know, get some, like, uh... I don't... I don't know what I would take on that. I kind of like Frostbite for it. That would seem pretty cool. That would seem very cool. Take frostbite on that, yeah. And the, these pants are actually quite a lot better than I expected. This, this is a set that I would definitely go with. Maybe not with this coat, but I don't. I don't have any better coats. Oh wait, I do. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, I can. I can accept these two items. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. What does it look like without the beard? Nah. I feel like they go together. I feel like this and this just really go together. That's me. Yeah, I think for, yeah we already checked the sniper. Alright. Alrighty then. Well, time to check weapons. Let's see. No, we got a pistol for the for scout here. Oh, we got two brain candy pistols. Ho ho. Alright, so we have a minimal wear one. No, it's good. I'll show the minimal wear one because that's, that's obviously the better wear. Alright. See, it's not too bad. It looks practically factory new from right here. And that's not too bad for someone who. If someone wants. Like, if someone's been wanting that pistol, that's not too bad at all, I guess. But, yeah, I'll put my MVM loadout. Go. Didn't get anything for Soldier or Pyro. Or demo, or heavy. Oh no! I take something for you, heavy. I got the brain candy minigun. There you go. So now, will you distill fear in people's hearts with your big machine gun? You could be killing them with lollipops. I, I don't. Know. I like Mr. Cuddles a bit more. It's simple yet elegant. You just got a cat on the barrel. Well, on the drum there. It's simple, yet elegant. Engineer, I don't believe I got something for you. No, I don't. No, technically I got the pistol for you. So this, here's the battle scarred pistol. For a veteran engineer. It looks like the top of it's all scuffed off. That's... Eh, that's like the only part you're going to end up seeing when you're in first person. So, I don't know what the point to that one is. Medic, we got two for you. Did, did I get two or did I get four? I think I got four. Okay, yeah. You know what? Yeah. These are the two I got. So we got a factory new one. 
which I'll admit the factory new one does not look too bad. It's just one of those like fun weapons, you know, you got some flowers and grass going into your medic bag over there. You got some green tape around. It doesn't look too bad, factory new. I have a feeling that this uh, field test one's not going to look too no. See, now I wouldn't equip this. I mean, the tube still looks all right. It still looks pretty mint, but then the front of it just looks disgusting. So this this is probably something I'd equip just to have with me. Um, that and it's better than this thing here. Yeah. So this isn't too bad. I do like it. I do like it. And I think last but not least, we have th four items for the spy. The game just knows exactly what class I like to play. And that's a very depressing amount of kills, I'm not going to lie. But my computer was broken for three weeks, and I haven't been playing a lot of this game, sadly. But here we go. We got one, two, three, four, five items for spy. Five items. All right, all right. All right, so we got the revolver, which I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's all right. It's all right. It's not the best, not the worst. But I feel like they could have done a better job with the revolver. I, it just, it, just something like flower power doesn't fit the spy, unless you're going for a really stupid-looking build. I, mean, I apologize if you if you do enjoy that, but it just doesn't fit the spy too well because he's got to be hidden and disregard the fact that I'm saying this while I have flames burning on the top of my head um, but yeah it's, it just doesn't feel right to me just like ignore the fact that I'm saying that while I have golden weapons that stand out like a, like a sore thumb and a burning flames on my head there it also stands out like a sore thumb um, it's the revolver that really makes people notice where you are. That's what it is. Alright, let's see what else we got here. We got four knives. Four knives. Now, if this was CSGO, I'd be in heaven right now, unboxing four knives. But, of course it's not. I mean, it would, man, it would have been sick, unboxing four butterfly knives. Holy crap. But no, we, we got... What did we get here? We got a well-worn, a battle-scarred... And a field tested stab to hell, and a field tested brain candy. So I think this one looks to be the better condition of all of them. So I'm gonna look at this one. Yeah, look at that. I mean, that doesn't look too bad from here. I have had the factory new one, and it looks pretty cool. It does look pretty cool. And I kind of wish. Um. I kind of wish that Australians had inspect animations specifically because these inspect animations are really badass for um, the knives. I, I believe it's similar to CSGO, but I'm not too sure. But it, it just feels like it'd be really badass to have that. Alright, what else we got? The brain candy knife. Alright. That's not too bad. The condition's not the worst. The blade looks pretty nice. Except, obviously, you can see here the tip, and a bit down there is kind of scratched up. The handle, you're not going to see. No one's going to see it. Yeah, just the blade looks a bit scuffed. The tip of it looks a bit worn out. But that's about it. There's nothing too bad about it. Everything looks really nice. And then we got the... Oh, all right. Well, we have the flower power and the brain candy. I thought we had... Yeah, all right. I can... Yeah, I can go with that. Alrighty guys, so that's been my unboxing that it cost me $80 for, um, oh boy, the pinnacle, uh, for, for this here, which isn't too bad. We got three strange cosmetics, no strange weapons, uh, only two, two, two purples, I want to point that, two purples, um, so that, that hurt, that hurt me quite a bit to have happen. Um, I'm not sure if you can do trade-ups or anything, but I, I have no clue 
Oh, we can inspect the item here. Oh, there we go. See, that would have been a lot better to do. Yeah, see, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. And then, yeah, that one's actually really crap. I don't know who would even pay for that or even want it for free. Wow. All right. But, yeah, that has been my unboxing, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, there will be some more MVM coming very s shortly. Not sure when. Maybe this week. Maybe the week after. I am trying to do a, a weekly upload schedule now. Just kind of keep things flowing. And also, if you check in the description, there's going to be a straw poll for you guys. And you guys get to vote on what kind of content you want to see. Um, because, of course, I'm trying to expand the channel a little bit because we can't just only have MVM because that's kind of what I've had for the past year or two now and of course that's gonna get stale and it's just gonna kinda slowly die off so we're gonna get some more content in and if you guys remember a while back I used to upload like f like f uh, 12 second short clips just really short clips of uh, some random bullcrap moments that have happened in this game I'm also gonna maybe do that you know every time something happens like that I might upload it on like a Tuesday and then we'll have MVM on a Thursday so we got like a Tuesday Thursday kind of thing going on so we'll see where that stands it should be fine but in uh, the description there will be a straw poll for you guys so you can vote on what you want now if um, Overwatch is picked because I have a strong feeling that Overwatch might be in there like I can almost guarantee it because it's Overwatch everyone loves Overwatch um, I might not be able to do that for a little bit, for the only purpose, well, for the only reason being, um, when I record, I've only got 8 gigs of RAM, and if I record with anything open but the game, it drops down to, like, 5 frames, and it is not fun, and even then, just playing and recording at the same time with nothing open but the game, and fraps, it, it just goes to 60 frames, which it arguably isn't that bad, but when you're playing at 130 frames, 60 frames is like the worst thing imaginable. For some reason, it just feels wrong. Even though if I were to watch the video back, it looks perfectly fine, but either way, guys, that's about it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. There will be of course, in the description, you'll be able to see who's going to be winning what. Uh, there'll be first, second, and third place. And we'll be giving away uh, almost all of these items. So if you guys want to uh, if you guys want to win these items, obviously all you got to do is just comment your Steam profile name and leave a like. And that's about it. That's all you really need to do. And you can basically win yourself any one of these items, possibly. Possibly there's going to be three winners, maybe four. We'll see. And I know for a fact that all of these strangers are going to be in here because I don't really need them all. Um, all of these weapons are going to be in there because I don't need any of them. Um, I mean, of course, if there was an unusual in there, I mean, you know, we, we'd, we'd sp if it was like a $4,000 unusual, we'd split that up. So the, the first place winner gets $10, the second place gets $2, and the third place gets this naughty winter crate you know just to make it fair you know guys even if we did get an unusual I would have split that up quite evenly for the first three place winners or the only the three winners of course I don't know why I said the first three place alright guys that has been my unboxing hope you guys enjoy and good luck to everybody in the giveaway Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace.